Less than an hour now, the South Bend Common Council will decide whether to officially throw its support behind a $400 million casino and hotel plan near Rum Village. On WSBT 22's Heather Black joins us live in downtown South Bend tonight. And Heather, not everyone supports this project moving forward. That's right. Citizens for Better of Michiana say that they're concerned about things like crime rates going up, uh, having a negative impact on local economy, and the lack of transparency from the Common Council. Now, the group spokesperson, Jake Teshka, says, told me today a group feels like this plan came out of nowhere. As a part of the agreement between the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians and the city, South Bend would provide water and sewer services to the developed land, and the tribe would give 2% of proposed casino net revenue back to the city. Teska says tonight's resolution didn't show up on the agenda until Friday, so they've been trying to get their group ready for tonight's meeting. He says the council is considering this investment before anything has been approved. The first thing, the Indian of, uh, the Bureau of Indian Affairs needs to um, approve the uh, Pokagon application to have this land taken into trust mm -hmm. so that they can build a casino on that land. Uh, the second is the Army Corps of Engineers needs to approve a permit that the um, Pokagans have applied for to fill in uh, wetlands on this land, which they would need to do in order to build this casino. And Teshka says that the biggest concern right now they have is making sure that the Common Council hears their point of opinion before they take action. And WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is inside right now, and he'll have a full report tonight at 11. Live in downtown South Bend, Heather Black, WSBT 22 News.